So this week we learned that the governing body for the Republican Party, which is the Republican National Committee, only has $8 million cash on hand. Now, that's important and significant because it's the worst cash crunch it's faced in a decade. According to the news site Puck, the money is not coming in as quickly as it's bleeding out, which is, of course, a big problem. So what exactly has the RNC been spending all this money on? A big hint actually came from an RNC spokeswoman who bragged late last month that the RNC has spent millions of dollars to engage in 76 election integrity lawsuits in 22 states. And by election integrity lawsuits, what they basically mean is that the party is spending a lot of money defending the big lie, fighting to limit access, essentially, to the ballot box. Perhaps no surprise coming from the party of Trump. But what is pretty ironic is that at the very same time, the RNC is also spending big on an early vote initiative called Bank Your Vote, a program to get Republicans to commit to voting early in all 50 states and six territories. A good thing, participating in democracy. But let's just pause on all of this for a second, their priorities. Because these two spending priorities are kind of a study in contradictions. I mean, the RNC's election integrity lawsuits are expensive legal gamuts, which foster distrust in early voting and in the system we are all trusting on to count our votes. Why would you go out and participate in a process that someone is telling you over and over again is rigged? Well, the RNC's Bank Your Vote initiative is essentially designed to do the opposite. It's meant to engage Republicans in the early voting process and to trust that their vote will be counted. Overall, a good thing. Even more ironic, though, and definitely quite a headache for Ronna McDaniel, I feel a little bad for her, is that while the RNC attempts to capitalize on early voting through this Bank Your Vote program, the leader of the Republican Party, you know the one, won't stop telling Republicans to distrust the system. Here he is just last month, after he won the Iowa primary, railing against exactly what the RNC claims they're trying to fix. We're going to straighten out our elections. We're going to do a lot of great things. We're going to try and go to paper ballots as soon as possible. Voter ID. One day, one day elections. You know, we have these elections that last for 62 days. And if you need some more time, take as much time as you want. And so many bad things happen. We have to get rid of mail-in ballots because once you have mail-in ballots, you have crooked elections. So again, the RNC is spending millions of dollars on a bank your vote early vote program. The leader of the party is saying, don't trust the process. It's not legitimate. Got it. But the seemingly spending, seemingly contradictory spending priorities aren't the RNC's only problem, it turns out. Again, I feel a little bad for them. According to Puck, the RNC's money problems have been mounting in part because of lackluster enthusiasm for small and low, large donors alike. But do you know where Republican small donors haven't stopped sending their money? You guessed it, Donald Trump's presidential campaign. In fact, Trump has raised most of his campaign funds from small dollar donors per the Washington Post. Not abnormal, he's the candidate in all likelihood. But the problem is, again, that a lot of these dollars aren't even going to the campaign. They're not going to reelect him. They're not advancing the Republican agenda. Because a whopping $55 million of that donor money went towards Donald Trump's legal fees this past year. $55 million. So Trump is not only cannibalizing the RNC's message about the early vote and wasting their money on that program, he's cannibalizing would-be RNC donors for his personal legal bills. But I guess that's what you get when a party is tied to the conspiracies and vindictiveness of a single man.